Welcome to the 2020 Byron Nelson Royal Awards. And now, here's your host, Associate Principal Carolee Deerdorf, and your principal, Ron Myers. Hello, Bobcat Nation, and welcome to the 2020 Byron Nelson High School Virtual Royal Awards. And while the circumstances may prevent us from gathering to celebrate the achievements of the class of 2020, we are determined to make certain that our Bobcat community acknowledges the contributions that our senior class has made to our campus and greater community. Along with Carolee Lee Deerdorf, Associate Principal, and me, Ron Myers, Principal, thank you for joining us as we take a few moments to highlight the accomplishments of these Byron Nelson students. I would also like to thank Jeremy Raw, Shannon Hallmark, Andrea Schlepphorst, Beth Miller, and Linda Gray. They worked diligently to arrange for all of us to share in these student successes by coordinating this special virtual event. Before you begin with scholarships, please know that many scholarship committees have not yet met or have extended their deadline for submissions. If you have applied and are selected for a scholarship, you'll be contacted by their coordinator. I cannot think of a better way to begin our presentation this evening by recognizing the recipient of our Texas PTA High School Senior Scholarship in the amount of $1,000. He is one of only 22 students in the state of Texas to receive this award. Congratulations to Brandon Booth. Our own Byron Nelson High School PTSA is awarding $13,000 in total scholarships. The PTSA selection committee has chosen the following students. Receiving a $2,000 scholarship is Brandon Booth. Receiving a $1,500 scholarship is Bretton Jones. Receiving a $1,250 scholarship are Megan Raw and Brennan Stapleton. Receiving a $1,000 scholarship are Katherine Raper and Austin Wynn. Receiving a $750 scholarship are Sarah Sproles and William Noonan. Receiving a $500 scholarship are Lindsay Dominguez and Lauren Young. The PTSA Alvin Peters Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 is being awarded to Amanda Ward Receiving the PTSA Darren Davis Realty Scholarship in the amount of $500 is Grace Howlett. Receiving the PTSA Lily Moore Realty Scholarship in the amount of $500 is Samantha Smith. The PTSA Meet You Anywhere Barbecue Scholarship in the amount of $500 is presented to Landry Davis. Thank you to the Byron Nelson High School PTSA for their continued support of our school and our students. Next up, on behalf of the Bobcat Dazzler Service Organization and Dazzler Director Lindsey Scroggins, I am pleased to announce the following scholarship recipients. The Razzle Dazzle Scholarship in the amount of $500 is awarded to Megan Raw. The Byron's Angel Scholarship in the amount of $500 is awarded to Mackenzie Arada. And the Tiffany Thomas Scholarship in the amount of $500 is awarded to Abby Smith. Congratulations to our Bobcat Dazzlers. And on behalf of Coach Bailey Broadstreet, Board President Jamie Skelton, and Mrs. Peggy Nelson, I am pleased to announce the recipients of the Peggy Nelson Bobcat Cheer Booster Club Scholarships. Receiving a $750 scholarship are Madeline Jones and Gracie Wieson. Receiving a $1,000 scholarship are Braley Crouch and Haley Skelton. Receiving a $1,500 scholarship is Grace Goff. Congratulations to the following students receiving offers over $8 million in scholarships to further their education either at an institute of higher learning or through military enlistment. We are proud of your achievements. The UIL Scholar Award was created to recognize and honor those students who have shown the ability and demonstrated the discipline necessary to perform well academically and still participate in extracurricular activities. The following honor graduates are being honored for their academic excellence through competition. We are proud to announce the following UIL Scholars.
This year, we have a total of 46 seniors who, during their time at Byron Nelson, have volunteered over 100 hours in at least one single school year. These students will be receiving a green cord to be worn at graduation in honor of their service to others. Congratulations to the following students. We recognize the next three students for volunteering 100 hours or more in each of their four years at Byron Nelson High School. Congratulations to Chet Graswich, Grace Howitt, and Amanda Ward. We wanna thank seniors that participated in our blood drive this year. Due to the closure, we weren't able to hold our second blood drive, but we will get the red cords that you earn from the fall donation drive to you as soon as possible. As is our tradition at Byron Nelson High School, we honor those men and women who are choosing to serve in our nation's armed forces. We know that without your daily sacrifices and without the sacrifices your family is willing to make, we would not enjoy the daily freedoms we often take for granted. Your sacrifice and service worldwide allows us to celebrate each day without worry or concern of our nation's security and freedoms. We now recognize the Bobcats of 2020 who have committed to military service. Enlisting in the United States Marine Corps are John Daly, Colton Geyer, Olivia Parker, Corey Rogers, Alberto Sanchez, Matthew Snow, Hunter Taylor Brown, and Austin Weathers. Enlisting in the United States Navy are Presley Green, Ali Sibby, and Jasmine Singh. Our next Bobcat will be attending the Naval Academy Preparatory School in Newport, Rhode Island, and upon completion, will begin an appointment at the United States Naval Academy, where he will be a member of the football team. Congratulations to Brent Sell. We have 252 students that have earned 561 certifications from 14 different areas, including Adobe, Microsoft, OSHA, and Floral Design. These students have learned practical skills that could be applied in college, the military, or in the workforce. Congratulations to the following students. The NISD Priority Interview Award is earned within the NISD Education and Coaching Program, and it validates individual skills as a future educator, including classroom management, instructional strategies, and hundreds of hours of internship work within NISD elementary and middle school campuses. This honor awards individuals with a priority interview to teach with the Northwest ISD upon completion of their teaching certificate and their post-secondary degree. Congratulations to the following students. <music> 
Every year, students across the nation are recognized for their outstanding achievements in the National Merit Scholarship Program. Byron Nelson is honored to have four students from the class of 2020 who have reached this elite level of academic achievement. Achieving the highest level of recognition in this program, it is now my privilege to recognize our 2020 National Merit Scholars. Emma Cooley, Rebecca Croucher, Chet Graswich, and Madeline Otterson. Byron Nelson High also has had several students recognized as committed scholars in the National Merit Program. Congratulations to the following students, Landon Allen, Daniel Bennett, Hallie Dowden Parrott, Matthew G, and Austin Wynn. This year we have three National Hispanic Recognition Program scholars. Please help me congratulate Joshua Lass, Ethan Parks, and Kelsey Villarreal. The class of 2020 has had a great deal of success in our district's advanced placement program. Through the leadership and the teachings of the Byron Nelson staff, students have achieved high scores, earning them college credit and helping them build study habits that will allow them to be successful way beyond their years here with us. The following students have been named an advanced placement scholar, earning scores of three or higher on three or more AP exams. The following students have been named as Advanced Placement Scholars with Honor. They have earned at least a 3.25 on four or more exams. Congratulations. Next. For academic excellence in the Advanced Placement Program, the following students have earned recognition as an AP Scholar with distinction. These students have scored a 3.5 or higher on at least five AP exams. For only the second time in Byron Nelson High School history, we have students that are being awarded the AP National Scholar. These five students have received an average score of at least four on all the AP exams they have taken, and scores of four or higher on eight or more of these exams. Congratulations to Landon Allen, Rebecca Croucher, Chet Graswich, Matthew G, and Austin Wynn. It is now time to recognize a class of 2020 top 10 academic students. Recently, I had the pleasure of chatting with them via Zoom. So I hope you enjoy our conversation. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. I wanna say congratulations to the Byron Nelson High School class of 2020 top 10. They're joining us in a Zoom meeting today to talk a little bit about their next steps and uh, uh, give us a piece of advice about uh, incoming freshmen or any student at Byron as to how that they can be successful. So I, once again, I wanna say congratulations to all of these young people who have joined us today, uh, taking time out from their physics Zoom, German Zooms, and all these different things that they're doing uh, to share with all of us um, uh, for a few minutes and also to recognize and celebrate them. So congratulations to the top 10 students, again, at Byron Nelson High School, uh, Brennan Stapleton, Maddie Otterson, Emma Cooley, Sophia Orlandella, Grace Goff, Rebecca Croucher, Landon Allen, Austin Wynn, and our salutatorian is Chet Graswich, and our valedictorian is Matthew G. Brennan, start us off. Thank you. Hi, I'm Brennan. Next year, I'll be in the Business Honors Program at Texas A&M, and I'll major in finance. After college, I hope to be an investment banker in New York down on Wall Street. Um, my advice to incoming freshmen and really everyone on campus is to get involved. Uh, do everything, try everything, join that club, play that sport. Whatever it is that you're interested in, do it and um, just really go for it. Because after the four, the four years fly by and after four years, you won't look back and uh, regret doing all of it and making the memories, but you will regret missing out. 
So have fun and enjoy high school. All right, thank you, Brennan. Hi, I'm Maddie Otterson. I will be attending Tulane University and I'll be in their honors program. I'm gonna double major in neuroscience and psychology. And I hope to someday become a research scientist researching um, diseases of the brain like Alzheimer's. Um, if I had to give one piece of advice to incoming freshmen, it would be to find a way to de-stress that is unrelated to school, like doing art or something, anything that works for you, because high school can be really, really stressful, and we just really need a way to cope with that sometimes. All right. Thank you, Maddie. Um, my name is Emma Cooley. I'm going to Oklahoma State University and I am majoring in civil engineering. My advice to incoming freshmen is to seek out a group of friends who you can lean on when school gets hard because it is a stressful time in your life. And don't be afraid to reach out to upperclassmen who know what they're doing and ask for their advice. And um, make sure that if you need support, you ask because people around you will be willing to give it. Great advice, Emma. Thank you so much. My name is Sophia Orlandella. I haven't made my final college decision yet, but I'm really passionate about aerospace engineering, which I can pursue at CU Boulder in the engineering honors program. And I'm also planning on continuing playing cello and learning German. One day I hope to become an aerospace engineer. So my advice to any student would be to be really dedicated in what you're doing and your work, but also to explore your passions. Um, I will never regret pursuing cello and German in high school, and it's really important to be dedicated in your schoolwork and, any, and persevere through anything, but it's also very important to follow your passions, not be afraid to branch out and try something new. Thank you, Sophia. Um, my name's Grace, and I'm going to Texas Stanford University to study biomedical science. And I'm hoping to um, go um, and be have an orchestra back on all of your years. Like you're gonna remember like the small fun events. Like you're gonna remember that football game. You're gonna remember like that really cool pep rally. Or you're gonna remember like one time where you and your friend really connect like it's those small moments that really make it up and you're not going to be you're not going to remember all of the hard tests and stuff like that so really make sure to just take a hold of all of the memory. thank you grace uh, our internet connection is a little unstable uh but uh, i i know that you mentioned that you're going to texas a m is that correct yes. and we were we were able to get those that advice uh, that you uh shared with us as well so thank you so much Hi, I'm Rebecca, and I'm going to be attending Brigham Young University. I'm going to be double majoring in anthropology and German, and I'll also be participating in the um, honors program. Um, I hope to eventually earn a PhD and become a professor of anthropology. My advice to incoming freshmen would be to not be afraid to get to know your teachers. We have some amazing teachers at Byron, and they really want to help you. And if you go to them, they will make sure that you're going to have everything that you need to be successful. Yeah. They, they really make Byron an amazing school. That's oh, great to hear. Thank you, Rebecca. So my name is Landon, and um, I really haven't decided yet. I'm stuck between USC and UVA for right now, but I've decided that I'll probably do environmental engineering and see where that takes me after college and all that. And my greatest advice, or the best advice I could give myself would be, high school is gonna be a four year journey and it's really the last part of your childhood before you go into the real world. So take it slow. And there's a lot you can learn. There's a lot of people you can meet. Just savor it while you're still there because you don't know when it's going to end. All right. Thank you, Landon. Thank you. Hey, I'm Austin, and I'm going to be majoring in computer science at UT, where I also hope to continue playing soccer and also playing the viola in an orchestra there. Um, if I had to give one piece of advice to incoming freshmen, it'd definitely be that, yes, while grades are important, it's not the most important thing. Um, it's more important to apply yourself and to learn all the material you can about whatever subject you may be passionate about. Because at the end, um, 
your interest will overcome anything else and the numbers will follow. Um, it's, a, it's all about learning and that's the most important thing. All right, thank you, Austin. So there are the uh, top eight. And uh, as, as you all are probably so, so aware that the differences among all of you are so slight. Uh, but now I wanna introduce to you all our salutatorian, uh, Chet Grasswich. So Chet, talk to us. Hello, so I'm Chet Grasswich. I plan to major in biochemistry at UT. Hopefully go on to graduate school and go into research on basic protein functions. And as for advice, I don't have much good advice myself, but uh, one of my favorite little short passages is, a, I think, really great advice for um, making choices in high school. It says, it seems to me that if you or I must choose between two courses of thought or action, we should remember our dying and try so to live that our death brings no pleasure to the world. Uh, thank, oh, thank you, Chet. Uh, thanks for sharing that. Great, great advice. And our valedictorian for the class of 2020 for Byron Nelson High School is Matthew G. Oh. Hi, my name's Matthew G. Um, oh, um, I'm, I'm going to go to uh, Brown University next year and majoring in uh, mathematics, computer science, and physics. And, uh, but I also hope that I don't give up uh, doing visual arts along the way. And, um, uh, as far as uh, my advice is for uh, freshmen or, or just like any students in general, and this is one uh, that took me a long time to learn, is that uh, grades aren't all that matters. Uh, now, I'm not encouraging you to go, go ahead and fail all your classes. What, what I am saying is that uh, grades are only a small fraction of uh, all the characters that there are to you. And I've seen some amazing talents from uh, Byron Nelson people who, who excels beyond just academics. I, I've seen it in the fine art department, I've, I've seen it in the engineering department, I've seen it in the uh, orchestra department. Uh, I've seen some amazing students who can simultaneously handle, say, orchestra and theater together. And um, so all what I'm gonna say is that if you let uh, grades completely consume you, you lose yourself as a person. So uh, next time when you uh, get a 90 on a test, uh, maybe be glad that you got 90 on the test instead of uh, being upset that you got 100. That didn't get 100. All right, Matthew, those are, those are great, great words. All of you uh, have uh, shared some sound advice for, for our students. And uh, again, I wanna thank you so much for, um, for the work that you've done at Byron Nelson High School. And I know that you all have a huge, bright future in front of you. And uh, for demonstrating our model to learn, serve, and lead, and uh, we will continue uh, to, to look forward as you take those next steps. And I hope that Byron Nelson, Nelson will always have a special place uh, in your life. And uh, that when you come back and visit us, um, you can share even greater wisdom among our students and staff. So we're gonna say bye to everybody. I appreciate this group. They've been very patient with me this afternoon um, and uh, we're good to go. Thank you, Byron. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Byron Nelson High School class of 2020 has 228 graduates who have maintained a 3.5 overall GPA throughout their time at Byron Nelson High School. We are thrilled to recognize the following students as Bobcat Scholars.
The Outstanding Student Award recognizes students who have gone above and beyond to reach their full potential in the classroom. These students set an example to the rest of our student body of what hard work and determination can accomplish. These students are being recognized for outstanding achievement in the following areas. In English, Reagan Williams and Brandon Booth. In Mathematics, Austin Wynn and Colby Huffstetler. In Science, Laura Dunlap and Madison Davis. In Social Studies, Brennan Stapleton and Gia Santini. From our World Language Department, in Spanish, Chet Grasvich. In French, Ethan Parks. And in German, Sophia Orlandella. In Art, Madison Zimmerman. In Dance, Tatiana Robertson. From our Physical Education Department, Nathan Sykes. Next up, in our Career and Technology Department, in Ag Design and Fabrication, Sciences and Floral Design, Lindsay Dominguez. In Architecture, Engineering, Interior Design, Jaden Viven. In Business Administration, Banking and Finance, William Noonan. In Digital Media Information Technology Software, Canon Perez. In Early Childhood Development Education Coaching, Alicia Stenzel. In Health Science and EMT, Monsi Villas. In Biomedical Science Academy, Ashley Mims. In Culinary Arts and Hospitality Academy, Meg McCollum. And in our Leadership Department, Braylon Beard. We have 15 seniors that recorded perfect attendance this year and will receive a pink cord. Congratulations to the following students. Caleb Atkinson, Io Nubajarokertri, Sydney Barrow, Brandon Booth, James Burroughs, Madison Davis, Joshua Graybill, Sam Harvey-Lompe, Jackson Hudson, Matthew Igo, Evan McRae, Elisa Montez, Courtney Savage, Miriam St. Guy, and Garrett Vanderpool. The five Byron Nelson High School Character Awards represent five traits that were displayed by the life of our namesake, Lord Byron Nelson. We believe these five traits should be celebrated for they will help guide our students into their future successes. The awards are named as follows, Royal Shield of Courage, Noble Hand of Respect, Golden Key of Responsibility, Silver Arrow of Honesty, Regal Heart of Compassion, and each are awarded to one male and one female student. Today, we honor the students in the class of 2020 that have been leaders by example in the following areas. Our first award is the Royal Shield of Courage. It is awarded to students who show a steadfast adherence to a moral or ethical code and are capable of facing danger and fear with confidence and resolution. Congratulations to Zoe Rogers and Cade Klein. Our next award, the Noble Hand of Respect, is given to students who take others' feelings, needs, thoughts, ideas, and wishes into consideration and gives them worth and value. Congratulations to Valeria Garcia Rosado and Andrew Reyes. The Golden Key of Responsibility is our next award. It is given to students who accept and take the necessary action to bring an assigned task to a successful completion. Congratulations to Haley Ray and Andre Paredes. Our next award is the Silver Arrow of Honesty. It is given to students who are found to be trustworthy and upright through a sincere and straightforward way of life. Congratulations to Zion Evangelista and Austin Wynn. Our final character award is the Regal Heart of Compassion. It is given to students who take into account the distress of others and attempt to alleviate their suffering through acts of kindness. They seek to benefit others by bringing joy to life. Congratulations to Brittany Bolin and Avery Crawford. It is now time to announce the recipients of the Byron Nelson Award. These students were chosen for their overall leadership, service, and academic achievements throughout their time here at Byron Nelson High School. They exemplify the legacy of our namesake by the life they choose to lead. These two students possess the very characteristics that make Bobcat special. The Byron Nelson Award is given to students who serve as an example to the campus, the student body, faculty, and combines all three components of our model awards. The first of these three is learn and is exemplified by a student who serves as an example by persistently engaging and giving his best in all aspects of the school experience and by seeking out opportunities for improvement in academics, extracurricular activities, and character. Next is the serve component. 
This component looks for students who serve as a support by continually putting the needs of others before themselves and who is quick to lend a helping hand to those in need. These students possess a genuinely kind and unselfish spirit. The final component of this award, LEAD, these students serve as a role model by consistently taking initiative to further school pride when opportunities present themselves. He or she seeks to build up those around them and show courage and integrity in decision making. While this year's female Byron Nelson Award winner displays talent in a particular field, she also demonstrates a care for others in a variety of environments beyond her usual manner of notoriety. Her drive to get better as an individual naturally impacts others and lifts those around her. Whether it's for her team, her classmates, or the support that she provides to other groups in the school. This year's Byron Nelson Award winner champions the causes for many. Congratulations to this year's female Byron Nelson Award winner, Paige Flickinger. When I think of someone who puts the needs of others before self, this year's male Byron Nelson Award winner immediately comes to mind. Over the past four years, I have watched this young man plant himself into the workings of our campus, and because of his commitment, he models respect to others and his school and the community. He is a young man of integrity and will continue to learn, serve, and lead, as evidenced by his dedication to Bobcat Nation. Congratulations to Brandon Booth, this year's Mel Byron Nelson Award winner, Thank you again for joining us for the virtual Royal Awards for the class of 2020. Congratulations to our students and their families. It is always an honor to work alongside our staff as we accompany our students through their high school years. As you can see, learning, leadership, and serving comprise the characteristics of the 2020 class. And while we are not able to gather as a school to honor our Bobcats, the ways in which we live out our Bobcat spirit will not be limited by social constraints, rather. Our social compact and responsibility is to continue to express the uniqueness, talents, and positive characteristics that define the Byron Nelson High School Class of 2020. Bobcats, remember who you are and what you represent. Go Bobcats!